everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about solving routine and non-routine problems involving finding the percentage, rate, and base using appropriate strategies and tools. Before I'm going to discuss to you our topic, let's review first some important formulas involving percent. We use the t hands triangle. We divide it into three parts. On top is P, it stands for the percentage. R stands for the rate and B stands for the base. So our formula in finding the percentage is rate times base. If we're going to find the rate, our formula is percentage divided by base. And for base, our formula is percentage divided by rate. These are the three important formulas that we're going to use in this lesson. Let's discuss first solving routine problems involving finding the percentage, rate, and base using appropriate strategies and tools. When we say solving routine problem, it is a type of problem in which there is an immediate solution. Read and understand the problem. During the sale, Ashley got 40% discount when she bought a shoes marked 800 pesos. How much was her discount? Our problem is an example of a routine problem. We are going to use the Polya's problem solving strategy. We have four steps. Number one, we are going to understand the problem. Under understanding, we should know what is asked in the problem, what are the given facts, and next is we are going to plan. In planning, we should consider what strategy I'm going to use to solve the problem or what operation or operations to be used. Next is we're going to solve or let's carry out the plan. And last, look back or let's check if we have a reasonable answer. Let's solve the problem. We're going to use the Polya's four steps in solving word problem. First, we should know what is asked in the problem. So, ang tanong ay makikita natin sa bandang dulo. How much was her discount? Okay, this is the question in the problem. So, we're going to restate this one. How much? Our answer starts with the word, the amount. So, it is asking for the amount of discount. Discount here is referring to the percentage. Okay, next is we should know what are the given facts. The given facts are 40% and 800 pesos. So, 40% is our rate. And we're going to change this one into a decimal number. Just move the decimal point from the right going to the left, two decimal places. Then, you can cancel zero and decimal and percent sign. So, 40% is equal to 4 tenths. Okay, another given number is the base, which is equal to 800 pesos. These are the important things that we're going to use to solve this problem. We already understand the problem, so the next step is we're going to plan. What strategy you will use to solve the problem? In the given facts, we have 40%, which is our rate, and 800 pesos, the mark price, which is our base. So, what strategy that we're going to use to solve the problem? Alright, we're going to solve for the percentage. What is the formula? How to find the percentage? Alright, it is percentage is equal to rate times base. We have already the plan. 
we're going to solve for the percentage. Now, let's carry out the plan. Let's solve the problem. Percentage is equal to rate times base. So, our rate is equal to 40% or 4 tenths. And the base is 800 pesos. So, let's multiply the rate and the base. 800 pesos or 800, we're going to drop the peso sign, times 4 tenths. So, 4 times 0 is equal to 0. 4 times 0 is equal to 0. 4 times 8 is equal to 32. Then, we're going to count the decimal number in our factors. So, how many decimal numbers do we have? Okay, we only have one decimal number. So, from right going to the left, we're going to move the decimal point, one decimal place also, and we can cancel zero. So, her discount is equal to 320 pesos. We get an answer of 320 pesos. So, let's check if our answer is correct or not. We're going to use the other formula. Base is equal to percentage divided by rate. If our answer is 800 pesos, then 320 pesos is correct. So, our rate is 40% or 4 tenths, and the percentage is equal to 320 pesos as we get a while ago. So, let's divide 320 divided by 4 tenths. Here, our divisor has a decimal point, so we're going to make this one into a whole number by just moving the decimal point to one place going to the right. Then we're going to move also the decimal point in our dividend. 320 understood that the decimal point is at the rightmost, and we're going to move going to the right also. And there's no digit here, we're going to put zero. So our number now is 3,200 divided by 4. So, 3 divided by 4 cannot be. Take two digits. 32 divided by 4 is equal to 8. 8 times 4 is equal to 32. 32 divided, minus 32 is equal to 0. And bring down 0. 0 divided by 4 is 0. 0 times 4 is 0. Bring down 0 again. 0 divided by 4 is 0. 0 times 4 is 0. 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. Or we don't have a remainder. Okay, therefore, our answer 320 is correct. Next is we're going to discuss about solving non-routine problems involving finding the percentage, rate, and base using appropriate strategies and tools. When we say solving non-routine problem, it is a problem which requires analysis and insight into known principles of mathematics. Our next problem is an example of non-routine problem. Jocelyn baked some cookies. Three-fifths of the cookies were sprinkle cookies. The rest were chocolate chip cookies. Her guest ate all the sprinkle cookies and 25% of the chocolate chip cookies. What percentage were eaten? To solve this problem, we're going to use the heuristic strategy. In heuristic strategy, we can draw diagrams. Looking back to our problem, we have here 3 fifths. Of the cookies were sprinkled cookies, so we have a denominator of 5, and we can draw a diagram having 5 equal parts. 3 parts for sprinkle and 2 parts for chocolate chip. Her guest ate all the sprinkle cookies and 25% of the chocolate chip. And the question is, what percentage were eaten? We have already a diagram to our problem. Next, we need to know the percentage of the sprinkle cookies. So, 3 fifths times 100%. Where do we get 
100% is from the total diagram of our cookies, both the sprinkle and the chocolate. Then, we're going to get the product of 3 fifth and 100%. So, 100% divided by 5 is equal to 20%. Its region here is consists of 20%. For the sprinkle cookies, we have three regions. So, 20% times 3 is equal to 60%. If the sprinkle is 60%, so the percentage of the chocolate chip is equal to 100% minus 60% is equal to 40%. After this, we're going to get the percentage of the chocolate cookies that were eaten. This is 40% times 25 over 100. Where do we get 25 over 100? 25 over 100 is from 25%. As we all know that, the other term of per 100 is percent. So, 25% is equal to 25 over 100. To get the percentage, just get the product of 40% or 4 tenths and 25 over 100 and we get an answer of 10%. To get the total percentage of the cookies, both in sprinkle and chocolate chips, we're going to add 60% for the sprinkle and 10% for the chocolate chips. All in all, there are 70% which is the percentage of the cookies were eaten. This is our final answer. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. And thank you for watching.